The reason I decided to start these videos is that I get a lot of questions from people. I, I get asked to talk a lot about what I sense at the energetic level. And um, it's not that I'm any kind of an authority <laughs> on it. Believe me, I am not. I'm just a regular human being like everybody else. But what happened to me between the ages of 8 and 10 forever changed my life. I had two years of incredible mystical and metaphysical experiences that I um, I didn't want. One of the experiences I experienced infinity. I experienced source and um, it was so terrorizing, so terrifying that it um, kept me quiet about it for most of my life. But what happened was it, it changed my life because from those two years I was never able to view the world the same. I was never able to just be in a three-dimensional reality. I was wide open. But I tried to live in a three-dimensional reality and I spent most of my life trying to deny what had happened, what I knew. And after spending a lifetime of integrating all of that information that I was given, in those two years, um, I've actually come to a place where I am embodying those teachings and I'm able to share that information with others. And all of that did for me was make me come full circle. And it did leave me with some extremely important knowledge about the importance of this present moment. So what I mean by it brought me full circle is that through the embodiment of these lessons I was able to be present in my human experience through the soul vista, through my soul and what is my soul communicating to me through my human journey. And that's what I can share with you. I actually am in a position where I can really share how to navigate this human journey through the soul's eyes. And what is the soul, my soul, your soul, our soul, trying to communicate it to us in every moment. So things like human emotion, I see with very different eyes. I see through the soul's eyes, even though as a human being, I am experiencing every aspect of my humanness, I'm unable to separate it from my soul connection and spirit connection and energetic connection but I can actually help with the experience of our humanness. For example, um, there's this word that a lot of people are using right now called, you know, the word empath. And I think every human being on this planet has the natural ability to be empathic, but that doesn't mean that they're an empath. From my understanding, I may be wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, but from my understanding what an empath is, it is a, a soul who came to this planet with a contract to help heal the planet. And the way that they do that is by absorbing the energies that are around them and transmuting them and transforming them into either lighter frequency or healing the energies through the absorption and transformation of them. So from my experience, I'm not sure if I would call myself an empath. What I have been noticing though is what it must be like for an empath to confuse the lines. The lines get very confusing as to what's mine and what's not mine. And that's what I can help you with. 
Um, so for example, ago, I remember I was walking my dog and I felt there was something um, happening and I was feeling a bit down and anxious and I wasn't feeling like myself. And I, I was questioning it, um, thinking, what am I feeling? Where am I feeling it? Why is this happening? And, but then I asked myself a simple question. Is this mine? And the minute I asked myself that question, I realized, no, it's not mine. I was picking up on the energies that were very palpable in the city at that moment or in the world. It could be a global sensation that I was, that I was picking up on. And because I was picking up on it, I was making it mine. But the minute I did ask if it was mine, I realized it wasn't. But that didn't make it go away either. See, that's the thing. Just realizing this is not ours doesn't make it go away. I had to do some energy work in order for it to go away. And this is what I do with emotions that I, that I really think are... They just don't feel like mine. You have to practice a little bit figuring out what it feels like to be you what it feels like to be you when you're triggered what it feels like to be you when you're going through the regular human life of having all these feelings and what it feels like when it's not you who were you just hanging out with did you just go downtown and there was all this kerfuffle or or fire trucks or aggressive drivers so you, you, you start to practice how to tell the difference between the two um, so this is what I do and and it works it works every time it's beautiful I, I call it the vortex of energy um, so before when I am feeling something that I recognize as not mine I actually do the same with feelings that are mine but that are just a little too difficult to to um, clear I use this technique to clear it I visualize the energy of the emotion so for example if um, I'm upset I'm feeling upset and it doesn't feel like mine and and I'm pretty sure this isn't mine this is something I picked up I visualize what the energy looks like sometimes it's little black sp sparks that are just like ah, <laughs> fighting each other sometimes it's dark molasses and it's so heavy other times uh, the color is red or or there's spikes so I visualize what the what the energy of this particular emotion looks like once I'm clear on that, I really feel it. I go into it. I don't try to escape it. I don't try to repress it. I don't try to, to divert it. I actually go into it and I really feel it and I breathe through it and I um, welcome that I'm actually feeling this because I know in a moment I'll be able to clear it. And the way that I clear it is I then visualize a vortex counterclockwise of energy beautiful golden white energy and it just swirls faster and faster and faster then it attaches itself to those sparks of energy and starts to swirl counterclockwise swirling faster and faster and faster and when it's really feels like everything is mixed together and starting to work as one spin it faster and faster and faster counterclockwise and I literally see it and feel it whoosh, go then I say a little prayer thanking the journey from resistance to freedom and love and I know that it's been transmuted into positive energy into a higher frequency And I swear, it works. <laughs> you will feel immediately lighter, saner, <laughs> freer, and
and the vibration of love will be more um, you'll be more aware of it than before it, you'll have cleared the path for you to actually feel love for yourself and for humanity um, that's having a hard time right now I really want to thank you for watching these videos and for connecting with me for embarking on you know this new journey with me that I'm embarking on I really feel that there's a need for a very grounded and unplugged and really human perspective um, uh, on spirituality a very more down-to-earth kind of spirituality <laughs> um, and I I figured well who better to talk about that than someone who's actually experienced the other realms and said no that's that's not what it's about what it's about being human really as human as possible but being present in our humanness again I thank you so much for watching <laughs>